Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to give you a free pick for Monday Night Football between the Cowboys and Texans. I remember before the season started, I had this game circled, wanted to go to it. I might still go to it. Shoot, it's raining out here in Texas, and uh, we got one game tonight. It's here in town. Might have to go down to the arena and watch some football, but it is not exciting. It's not anything that we're looking forward to because Cooper Rush is so terrible. But I'll get into that in a second. I'll get into the pick in a second. I wanted to address how we did this weekend and how we've been doing. It's honestly been the most bizarre experience I've ever had. Like I am, dude, I like, I am so just amazed at how we cannot hit anything. It's mind blowing. And if you've been watching, you've been watching. If you've been through it with me, dude, like it's fucking sickening because we have a couple of apps where we are getting overpaid for six mans. The challenge with six mans is it's still hard to hit six for six. So I've never seen a streak this rough where we missed this many, but it is, it is normal to miss a lot, but not this much. This is not normal. So the casual person, the average Joe, 99% of people will look at this and be like, oh, that doesn't work. This guy's an idiot. And that's what I'm taking a lot of heat right now for. A lot of people are telling me I suck which I get where they're coming from because they're watching my results and my results suck over the last month. It's been, and a month is a long time to suck. Like I'm not brushing it under the rug. I'm telling y'all, it's been bad. Like I'm owning that and I'm talking about it right now. But I'm looking at it and I'm like, dude, correlated six mans paying 25 X are profitable. They're extremely profitable. We broke underdog fantasy, we broke prize picks, and we broke better. So I know for a fact that this is a profitable system. And I'm looking at the football season, and I'm like, dude, we've got a little bit of college football left. We've got a lot of NFL left. Are we going to stop doing this because it sucked lately? Or do we push through? Because I'm telling you all right now, man, when January and February get here and we don't have full NFL Sundays... We're going to look back and be like, damn, we should have hit it harder. That's how I always feel. Every February, I look back. I'm like, gosh, man, football is so much easier than these other sports. So I'm getting roughed up. I'm telling you right now, if I didn't have a massive bankroll, I'd take a week off. Straight up, I'd take a week off and just say, hey, man, let me take a fucking break. Let me catch my breath here because this is torture. Um... But the truth is, the right thing to do, the mathematical thing to do is just put your head down, get your emotions out of it, and trust the long-term process. And I'm telling you guys this because I'm, if you look at any of my VIP plays, okay, and you actually punch them into a sports book. So I would punch them into a sports book because sports books have, they're worth billions, like the valuation of DraftKings or BetMGM or Caesars is so high. They have full teams of dudes with PhDs in statistics that understand sports betting and line making, setting their lines. Any of these six mans on those apps are going to pay like 15x. We're getting 25x. Okay. So I look at that and I'm like, okay, that's the way to profit. But then I also look at YouTube and social media and what I'm doing here making content. And I'm like, man, you know, what would actually be less stress and make me more money is doing two goblins on prize picks where I hit m more days than not, but profitability long term just isn't there. So I'm like at a fucking crossroads for real guys. There's really like two sides of this. It's like, do you want to bet for a living? Do you want to be a profitable better? Or do you want to be a sports betting content creator? Because if you look at all the top guys that are the top guys selling picks or the top guys referring people to apps, they are, well, they're Photoshopping the hell out of their tickets, which is, a, it's a crazy time we live in where it is so easy to download an app and just bet $1 on a game, Photoshop it to be $20,000. And that's what all these guys on Instagram are doing. 
And I saw a guy this weekend flex that Hard Rock was hosting him and Hard Rock hooked him up with a suite at their resort in Florida. And I'm like, how do people see this and not understand? If the guy was beating Hard Rock, they would hate him. They would literally just ban him. They wouldn't be putting him in a suite saying, hey, come on, stay a little, stay the whole weekend. The reason they want him to stay on site all weekend is because they know he loses all his money gambling. So the business model is like this cycle of him selling picks on Instagram, losing the money he makes selling picks at the casino, showing the lifestyle, and then it just cycles around. And I'm over here, I'm a normal dude, got a family, live in a neighborhood, live a pretty uh, normal life. So I don't really flex lifestyle much. Um, and I'm just sitting here thinking like, fuck, I could just run a bunch of two mans, flex lifestyle and print money, it's insane. So I'm at a crossroads, who knows? Um, I'm doing a lot of brainstorming. I always wanna be super honest with you guys on this channel. That's why I talk about shit like this to you and kind of vent to you. The truth is, correlated six months, if you can get 20X, 25X, I'd say 20X or over, this is a no brainer. Has it been profitable this last month? Fuck no. It's been unbelievable uh, how I, I've managed to not pair the right duos with each other. And I think correlation's happening. I'm just pairing the wrong duos up. I'm taking, Mahomes and Kelsey over when they should go under. And then I'm taking uh, Almond Ross St. Brown and golf under when they go over. And it's just like fucking bad timing. Honestly, I like to take all overs all the time because eventually the overs hit. And the overs and unders hit 50-50, okay? So people all the time, when you lose and you take all overs, they'll say, dude, we gotta take more unders. And then when you lose with unders, they're like, dude, we gotta take more overs. And it's like, look, overs and unders hit 50-50. So I personally believe the best way to attack the year is to take all overs all the time or all unders all the time. Just pick, do you wanna be an over better or an under better? What do you enjoy, enjoy more? And just stick to it every single week. There's gonna be a couple of weeks where everyone goes over and a couple weeks where everyone goes under. But if you're trying to guess back and forth, you can actually get really unlucky. So I don't know what the hell's happened in this last month. The, the level of bad luck has been unbelievable. And we had a shit, pretty shitty September too. And then we saved it with the last week. So I do know like a couple powerful weekends and we're back and we're good. But just wanted to talk about that and talk about profitable strategy here real quick before I get into the free pick and um, I, I don't know, man. Part of me wants to just make this video, just give the free picks because I know I'd get more views if I just got into the free picks right away. But I also want to talk to you guys and actually have a relationship with you all and like actually talk about when shit's going wrong and when shit's going right. Like if we're, if we're doing well, we'll celebrate together. When we're not doing well, brainstorm, talk, have productive conversations together. And what I'm seeing on YouTube right now is the most brain dead free pick channels where the guys are showing no emotion. There's no human, there's a human voice, but I'm just seeing these faceless accounts where there's no recap of the day before, never talking about what's going on, just the same BS every day. And it in no way helps people, but dude, those videos are getting the most views. So I'm looking at all this and I'm like, all right, I'm definitely gonna start a new faceless channel. And I, I might let you guys know what it is or I might not, but you probably would hear my voice so you'd figure it out. Um, but I'm gonna start a new faceless channel and just really grind that because there's so much money in these sports betting YouTube channels. I'm just like, you know what? I need one where I just shut my brain off, just robot, it's just work. It's like nine to five, it's like a work, a 30 minute nine to five, right? doesn't take that long to make videos. And then this sports betting education is the one where I share my life with you guys. The highs and lows, the big future bets. I'm trying to build up a, a DraftKings Pick 6 account so that I can slam a futures bet down. I'm going to do some uh, some UFC parlays on BetMGM because I've got like 29 grand in a, a BetMGM account. 
College football playoff, I think I'll be able to do well there. I think the first time an SEC school plays Penn State, it's going to be a really good value bet for us. Certain things like that. Um, but yeah, so that's my recap of how things have been going. I, I look forward to y'all's comments and what you guys think of everything that's gone down the last month. Like, look, honestly, I'm getting to the point where I almost don't... It's like I don't give a fuck because... There's so many clients that have turned on me. And it's like, you guys do realize I, I have your best interest at heart right now. And if I had my best interest at heart, I would just give you a bunch of two mans. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, man, this is really interesting. Like these guys don't even understand what I'm doing for them. So I'm thinking like, I've the thoughts even crossed my mind just giving people two mans and bullshit because it works better and it's what they want so i'm like fucking torn right now i'm at a serious crossroads in uh my life as a as a youtuber right now but let's get into the free pick today it's a three man it's six x on dabble i love dabble because the three mans pay six x the six mans pay 35 x and if you're new to dabble you get 25 dollars for free so all you got to do is use promo code SBE, you get 25 bucks for free when you join Dabble. Now, my first player on this three man is going to be Cooper Rush under 178 yards, I think it is. The reason I like his under is because one, he's terrible and he might not get the yards. And then two, he's terrible. And I feel like they're gonna bench him for Trey Lance. I don't think he's gonna play all four quarters. I just think it's a very small chance that he survives all four quarters. The Texans could kill this team. And if they do, the Cowboys are going to roll Trey Lance out there to see what they got with him. You know, you might as well. Trey Lance is a top three pick, top three NFL quarterback pick in a draft. Look, dude, even if people think he's a bust and he's not good, whatever, let's see. He's athletic. He, uh, he's... He's a big, athletic, fast dude. Won a lot of games in college, even though he played a lower level. Um, so I think Trey Lance comes into this one, Cooper Rush under. And then on the Texans side, I think they get a lot of yards. I think this is a game where you could see Nico Collins go for two touchdowns and 150 yards. But I'm hoping that they get to a big lead and they run the ball with Mixon. I'm taking Mixon over rushing yards. On Dabble, it's like 84 yards on prize picks. It's like 88. The lines are way better on dabble. It's way easier to win if you take overs on dabble. On prize picks, prize picks knows that they got a bunch of dummies on their app. So they inflate the lines, making it harder for you to win. They pay 5x for a three man and the lines are higher. On dabble, the lines are lower and they pay 6x. If you got a brain, Get the Dabble app, get your free $25 in the pinned link of this video. Third play, we are going to take Schultz over receiving yards. It's a homecoming game for him against his old team. Little revenge spot. They thought they would go with Ferguson. Schultz went to the Texans. Now he's on a better team. The best team in the state of Texas is the Houston Texas Texans right now. And, uh, what Schultz has to get 30 yards. The Cowboys like to play this prevent umbrella defense. And what it does is it leaves holes underneath. So I think Stroud might be feeding Schultz. I could see the Cowboys secondary saying, Hey, we're not going to let Nico Collins go for a hundred yards against us and embarrass us. Well, guess what? Now you got to tackle Schultz catching a nice little underneath route and then getting a full head of steam I think Schultz can get this number quick. He could get it in the first half, honestly. So I got Schultz over receiving, Mixon over rushing, and then Cooper Rush under passing. Unfortunately, this is not the matchup that we had hoped for at the beginning of the season. Cowboys should dominate. That's my free pick. That's my three men. I've been ice cold. So fuck, it might be worth doing the exact opposite. You know what I'm saying? Um, but. I feel good about this one. I like this one. So that's all I've got for you guys. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.